welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below so the cluster is in place now so what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, create the container here and uh, the container we enable the replication and uh, migrate to the another host so it would be faster so let's say that before creating the container so we have to download the template here the container template so click on the container templates and uh, uh, templates here and say any of the template you can download it okay let's pick up the CentOS 7 here and click download so it will take a little time based on your internet speed and it will download the container image here so it's okay you can see the container is downloaded fine and now let's click on create container create ct now you can say the vm id so i say here 105 and the host name you have to give so any host name you can give it here so i say centos 7 dash cnt and provide the password here so the password you should remember is that uh, it should be a root your root password log into the container okay so click next now you can select the storage and here and select the template click next so this template actually when you download uh, here then not only you can able to see otherwise you cannot see here you can select the disk size where you want to host your uh, container and provide the size here how much size you want to allocate to the disk and cpus cores how many cores you can cpu cores you can allocate here and you can select the memory here so it might be 512 mb or 1 gb whatever it is and you can see that the ethernet zero is will be automatically created so here we have the another network you can select that network and for the vm communication and dhcp enabled for the network so it will automatically acquire the ip address from the dhcp and click next now you can see here DNS settings so my DNS is techyrkt.local and the DNS IP is 192.168.29.1 okay so techyrkt.local and here 192.168 234.2 because we have a different network this one and click finish now the container will created container will be created and it will be online soon you can see it's extracted okay task is okay fine now the container is created you can see that it's extracted and it did the all the steps and the container is online now you can start this container so the container is started fine 
so now let's enable the replication pair here so to do that so go to the replication and click on the add and provide that vm id number so which you which you want to replicate to the target then select the target so the target uh, i have hosted this container on the pve1 so the pve2 is the target now let's say what is the synchronization limits every 30 minutes and give some comment to that so we can easily identify what is this replication so replication pair is created now so it will automatically do the uh, 30 minutes replication but let's see it and change it to one minute so that uh, i can replicate it faster so that no need to wait for 30 minutes now the replication pair is in place so it takes a little time to synchronize uh, because uh, one minute so i already did this container migration to pve2 so that um, uh, it should be online on the pve2 then the replication will be reverted back to the pve1 as a target automatically and uh, it say it's currently pending you can see that so now it takes a little time to synchronize back with the to the pve1 then let's say you can see that let's check again so on the PV2, so it's syncing. You can see as the repression button is syncing. You can see now the replication is completed back. You can that's the it takes a few seconds. Now if you migrate this container, so it should be faster. So you can see that migrate the container and click migrate, and uh, you can see just migrate or something like this but if it is a physical it should be much faster like just like this if you click on the migrate then the container will move immediately to the that host okay target host and now you have to just again wait a few minutes to sync back that and uh, you can try to migrate it back again to the pve2 this time it will be a little bit so slow because the container is still not replicated completely so again it takes a little few seconds to complete the replication pair and uh, update the container to the next node so migration will complete soon so uh, difference between the normal migration and this replicated my vm migration is that so if the data is already migrated if you have the larger vms example like three four terabytes of virtual machines associated disks you want to migrate them so that would be much faster uh, in this case like local disk to the local disk you can simply migrate it in a few minutes or a few seconds so the replication is already synchronized then you can just say migrate then the larger virtual machines also migrate from one host local disk to the another host local disk you can see now it's syncing back again so whenever the virtual machine uh, the container will be migrated from one virtual machine to the another virtual machine so it will automatically change the target you don't need to manually change that so you can see again if i want to migration back to the um, pve1 you can see that so it is again doing the migration from local host to the this local host to local disk to the another local disk so it is just replicating the data so that simple it is so replication will make your vm migrations and the production faster that's enables the uh, replication for the local disks so shared disk anyway uh, it is both are there both the sides it is mounted but local disk is much uh, easy for the replication and uh, you can migrate the virtual machine faster that's about it for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications